Let's go Dolphins. I confess to you that I'm still sad about the loss in the last game, but we need to look forward and turn the page. Coach McDaniel will analyze and correct the mistakes made, and I'm sure that in the next game we will celebrate. We need to address some important points, but first make sure you've already pressed the like button if you're a true Miami Dolphins fan. So, it was a rough one, folks. The Dolphins faced a devastating 56-19 defeat against the Baltimore Ravens at M&T Bank Stadium. Ouch! Now, it's time to assess the damage and look ahead to a make or break Week 18 matchup against the Buffalo Bills for the division title. First off, the injury bug hit hard during the game. Bradley Chubb is out for the year, and there's concern that Xavier Howard might join him on the sidelines. Tough blows for sure, but this is where the resilience of our Dolphins will truly be tested. Now let's break down the performance from every angle. Tua Tagovailoa had an opportunity to make an MVP case, but it just didn't pan out. Hindered by some questionable receiver play, Tua struggled to keep us in the game. He finished 22 for 38 with 237 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. We need him to step up big time against the Bills. Raheem Mostert was a late scratch, but Devon Ashane stepped up with an impressive showing. Despite the loss, Ashane's 107 rushing yards and a touchdown catch provided a much-needed spark. Our receiving core had a rough day, with Tyreek Hill and Chase Claypool dropping crucial passes. The absence of Jalen Waddle was deeply felt, and Cedric Wilson Jr.'s touchdown catch was a lone bright spot. Surprisingly, our tight ends were the shining stars, earning an A grade. Durham Smythe's stellar performance, with 54 receiving yards, and Julian Hill's contribution gave us something to cheer about. The offensive line, missing Robert Hunt and Connor Williams, held its ground in the run game but struggled in pass protection, allowing three sacks. We're crossing our fingers for a healthy offensive line in the final showdown against the Bills. So, Dolphins fans, what's your take on these developments? How do we bounce back against the Bills in Week 18? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed this update, show some love with a like and make sure to subscribe for more exclusive Dolphins coverage. Until next time, ends up.